here's the great paradox that mayors and cities face, and even Bloomberg faced, certainly de Blasio faces. Inequality in the city is the consequence of causes over which cities have no control. That's right. Global capitalism, global markets, uh, global corporations, global banks, and all the problems that global capitalism creates. We know it's an extraordinarily productive system of wealth and extraordinarily poor at distributing that wealth and not very good anymore at jobs because jobs aren't necessarily in the interest of the profits of stakeholders. So cities are forced to deal with the consequences of global inequalities that come out of global capitalism without the ability to directly regulate or affect or deal with the global corporations and so forth that are there. And that's true no matter whether the mayor's de Blasio or Bloomberg or Walsh or uh, anybody else. There are two aspects to inequality in a democracy. One is wealth. But wealth and education are important because they impact voice. The key thing in a democracy is voice. And something that de Blasio has already done and that as James is doing and others in the new administration are doing is saying, here's a microphone, here's a voice. We want you to have a voice in this city's affair. Part of that comes from outreach, part of that comes from participatory things like participatory zoning, participatory budgeting, but a large part comes from speaking for and also allowing those peoples to speak for themselves. Voice is very important.